Good morning, friendship, and the Methodist Church. And those who are watching my media ministry, God bless you this morning. Visitors and friends, thank you for worshiping with us this morning. God is an awesome God. He has given us another day of worship. Amen. Now, if I, if I were you, I would just give God some praise right now. Come on, say to God, lift up those hands. Hallelujah. Come on, lift them up. Come on, give God some praise. Glory, hallelujah. High expectation. Praise God. Come on, saints, praise Him. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. I don't know what your God, but my God works. He's working. He's working, saints of God. Come on, praise Him. Don't be ashamed. Give Him praise.
trying sometimes. It works. Verse 1. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed. And though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. Just at the break of dawn, the nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melt. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations in the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. My God, my God, he breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burned the chariot in the fire. Verse 10 is our text for this morning. Be still. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Saints of God, I pray this message will encourage and give us hope. I pray this word will certainly increase your faith. Again, the text is taken from Psalm 46, verse 10. Two words. Be still. Be still. Unfortunately, we are still going through the worst pandemic of our time. Since the beginning of COVID-19, so many people have lost their lives. So many people have been affected by this silent killer. God knows the beginning and he knows the end. God also knows all that takes place in between. Amen. You see, God is, uh, he is the author and finisher of time. Only God knows time. Amen, somebody. I've heard these words most all my life. Maybe you have to. Oh, it's going to be all right. Don't worry. Trust God. Have faith in Jesus. It's going to be all right. Yes, saints of God, we are very familiar with those saints. Amen. God has never lost a case. God has never lost a battle. Uh, he is too perfect to lose. Amen, somebody? Uh, Psalm 46 has a psalm of trust. As a psalm of trust rejoices in the deliverance that the Lord gives his people in the midst of of a fearsome battle or siege. 
There is reason to believe that Psalm 46 through Psalm 48, praise God, form a uh, trilogy that focuses on God's special love for Jerusalem. Amen? Uh, Psalm 46 was Martin Luther's basis for the Reformation hymn, A Mighty Fortress is our God. Psalm 46 has three structures. First, a celebration of God as our defense, even though the earth is moved. Two, a celebration of God as our defense, even though the nations rage. And finally, three, a celebration of God as our defense, even when the Lord brings his judgment. Praise God. You know, saints of God, uh, if you read history, well, some folks say history repeats itself. But you know, saints of God, the same thing that we are going through this morning took place in the Old Testament. If you recall God, allow ten plagues to come upon the nation of Israel because of their disobedience. Hear me, saints, because of their disobedience. And you know, saints of God, even today, uh, God's people, His chosen people, and those who have not been accepted into the family of God are living a life of disobedience. Amen? Especially our young people. They feel that this pandemic is not for them. Can I get a witness somebody? But say to God, as children of God, Christians, we know better. We must follow God's ordinance. Amen? The text is taken from uh, the 10th verse. I just want to read and, and uh, explain this once again for all of us. Be still. Be still. And know that I am God, I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. Be still. You know, saints of God, when I was a young boy, uh, right here in Waynesburg County, King Street, South Carolina, my parents were the Reverend Simon and Rochelle James, whenever there was a severe storm, I will never forget. Mom and dad would say, sit down, be quiet, be still. The Lord is working. The Lord is speaking. And you know, say to God, I didn't understand it then, but now I understand it. Amen. Be still is the call for stillness in the presence of God. Now, who is God telling you to be still? There are several interpretations and theories regarding the subject of God's address in verse 10. Both are meaningful, and it is quite possible that God addresses both subjects. One interpretation suggests that God is directly speaking to Israel's enemies. However, God also encourages and strengthens the children of Israel. Yesterday, God spoke directly to Israel, and today he is speaking indirectly to his chosen people, those who are followers of Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody? Those who have been adopted into the family of God. Saints of God, have you been adopted into the family of God? Saints of God, let me share something with you. If you're not in the family of God, you, you are, your life is just in a state of existing. You just live it. Hello, somebody. God can't help you. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. The writer is uh, probably living through a time of war, conflict, or at the very least, personal strife. The writer wrote to encourage the children of Israel to stand in the strength of of the Lord. Not your strength, not my strength, but in the strength 
of the Lord. Today we are in a war with COVID-19. Yes, there is a major conflict between COVID-19 and God's chosen people. Christians today are God's chosen people. I'm so glad to be chosen by God. The enemy, the silent killer is trying to take us out. Satan is trying to destroy us. The text says, be still. Children of God, be still. Saints of God, be still and know that God is God and beside him there is no other. I dare you to depend on society to bring you through this pandemic. I dare you to depend on your, your bank account. I, I dare you to depend on yourself, your person. You can't win, say to God. Be still and let God handle your business. Be still doesn't mean we should stop living, stop moving. It doesn't mean to sit down and do nothing. Now here's the theology behind be still, praise God. Be still means to pray fast and meditate on God's word. It also means to use your faith, increase your trust level, and know without a doubt that God the Father is in the midst of your troubles. Can I get a witness right there, somebody? Now that's a good place to stop and shout right there. The Lord is with me. God is with you. Can I get a witness, somebody? Be still and know that he is God. Know that he is God. Uh, God wants all nations, all of his people, all of his people, especially those in the body of Christ, to know that he is God and beside him there is no other. Amen, somebody. There is not another God like him. Yes, there are some small G gods. Hello, somebody. There are, there are, there are, there are many small G gods, but there is only one Oh, I believe I'm talking to somebody here this morning. Hallelujah, somebody. Listen, saints of God. God wants his people to get to know him during this pandemic. See, folks taking this thing lightly. God put us in quarantine for a reason. God wants us to read, study his word, and give our life to Jesus Christ. But some folks are still living like nothing ever took place. If you go back and read history, uh, 1918, the same type pandemic came along and, and destroyed many people. God brought them through it, and he's going to bring us through this pandemic. Amen, somebody? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now, why God wants to, to get to know us? Because he wants to be exalted among the nations. He wants to be exalted in the earth. Hallelujah, somebody. God wants the whole world to know that he is God all by himself. He wants the whole world to know that he is the only one that feeds us and give us water to drink and clothe us and give us our daily necessity. That's the God I'm talking about. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In other words, God wants to open up the eyes of those who are spiritually blind. And those who are self-dependent. Saints of God, we've got so many people walking around with their eyes open, but they are spiritually blind. They can't see God's goodness. They can't see the value of being a child of God. Can I get a witness, somebody? So many people, so many of God's people are trusting in themselves. And others have become they don't want what God has to offer. Folks are trusting in idols. Folks are trusting in society. Folks are trusting in themselves. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Saints of God, allow me to, to read a passage of scripture. Praise God. Turn with me to Proverbs. Praise God, chapter 3. You 
you have heard this passage for a lifetime. But I just want to, to, to point something out to all of us. Proverbs chapter 3. Now I want you to pay close attention because there is something here we have missed all these years. And you're going to get it this morning. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 3. I hope you're there. Hear this. Let's look at verse 5, 6, and 7. Now watch this. God wants us to, to look to him. Not man. God wants us to trust him. Not man. Hear this. Verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord. It doesn't say trust in man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. It doesn't say some of your heart, partial your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. But think of God, you got a problem there. Folks are leaning on their own understanding. But God tells us not to lean on your own understanding, but lean on the understanding of the Lord. Amen, somebody. Verse 6 says, in all your ways, not some of your ways, but all your ways, Acknowledge him. Don't have so much pride that you can't acknowledge God. Hello, somebody. Acknowledge him. And you know what it says if you acknowledge him? And he shall direct your path. Let me make it plain. The Lord will direct your life. He will lead you in the way that you should go. The Lord will never mislead you. He will never take you someplace where he doesn't want you, says of God. Can I get a witness here? This is my reason for leaning on the Lord because I understand that I cannot lead myself. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 6. I love this. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Verse 7. Hear what it said. Hear this. Hear this. Verse 7. Now, this is the one we always miss. Do not be wise in your own eyes. <laughs> Listen, saints of God. God is telling us do not be wise in your own eyes. So many of us have become wise in our own way of thinking, our way of seeing things, how we are doing things. No, say to God, it will never work. God wants a relationship with us. He wants to open our eyes to the things of Him. He wants us to open up. He wants to open our eyes so that He will get the glory. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And He shall direct your path. I say to God, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but one thing I do know, whenever I go through a, a situation, a trouble, I've learned to be still. I can't fix it. Amen, somebody? There is nothing I can do to fix my situations. Even if I go to the bank and borrow all the money in the bank, I cannot fix sickness. Can I get a witness somebody? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say to God, as I close this message, during this pandemic, COVID-19, I highly recommend a closer encounter with God. Can I get a witness somebody? I come this morning to Recommend Jesus to somebody. During this pandemic, yes, God has put us in quarantine for a reason. God wants you to read the scriptures and get more out of the scriptures than you ever did. Oh, who am I talking to? Saints of God, we are living in perilous times. There is help for the saints of God. There is help for the children of God. There is help for all nations. Thank you, Jesus. There is help for the whole world. Thank you, Jesus. Can I just get one witness here? Does anybody know what I'm talking about this morning? Thank you, Jesus. 
Yes, we are in the midst of a war, COVID-19. I just stopped by to tell somebody, the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let the Lord fight your battle. Let the Lord take care of this enemy. Don't be discouraged. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The text tells us what God says and what he says. The Lord said, be still and know that I am God. He said, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Can I get a witness somebody here this morning? You ought to wave your hand. Thank you, Jesus. And I just love the 11th verse. Hear what it says. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord of hosts is us, is my refuge and strength. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is our host. Whatever we need, the Lord will take care of us. Can I get away to somebody? Am I talking to anybody here? Thank you, Jesus. Friendship. You don't have to worry. You don't have to panic. The same God yesterday. The same God today. The same God tomorrow is going to bring you through it. The Lord brought us to COVID-19. He is carrying us through COVID-19. And he is going to bring us out. Can I get a witness, somebody? Thank you, Jesus. I feel my help coming on. When the enemy come up against you, be still and know the God that you serve. When the enemy come up against you, be still and know who you are. Psalm 121 tells us, I lift my eyes to the hills. Be still. Hallelujah, somebody. From where my help coming, be still. My help comes from the Lord. Be still, the people of heaven and earth. Be still. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to wave your hand. You ought to say thank you, Jesus. You ought to say thank you, Lord. You brought me this far. I know you're not going to leave me. Thank you, Jesus. Keep on pressing on. My God, my God. Lord, I thank you this morning. God, I give you the praise. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory belongs to you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Say to God, when you go through your crisis, be still. When you go through your crisis, how do you be still? Pray, fast, meditate, read the word of God, and let me just add love everybody. That's what I call being still, saints of God. You know, even when you pray, you fall down on your knees, you don't move. You don't want no one moving around you because it could be a distraction. God is the same way. He doesn't want us to move while he's working things out. Be still and know that he is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you.